everyone, welcome back to my channel, Janet's English Class. Today, I will be doing episode 3 of Janet's English Podcast. Today, I will be unboxing three new books I got. Two books, oh, all three is a present, but the last one, a magazine, I my parents bought it for me in Costco. So, you know where Costco is, it's a very popular sales brand, a grocery store to be honest where you get all your stuff especially tissues okay so let's get started firstly i have the first book which is called Nevermore. so i've got this and i haven't read it because i had to wait to make this video and this book is called Nevermore: the trials of morgan crow so I'm definitely going to be reading this first because firstly, I love fantasy stories, especially like with a little twist to it, more fantasy-like, less nonfiction, and more non-realistic because I like to zone out in my own world. And let's look inside. Okay, there's a sequel called Wondersman. So you can comment down below if you have read any of these books, okay? So... Morgan Crow is cursed. Okay. Born in Eventide, the unluckiest day for any child to be born. Okay. Morgan is blamed for all local misfortunes. So, already reading the first sentence of the blurb, it's kind of blurred at the back of the book. I can already see some suspense building, and I've got an overall idea because I've actually read the blurb in my own time. And awaiting your fate, most prestigious organization in the Wondrous Society. Completing four tasks in, or in order to escape her fate, which is dying on midnight on her 11th birthday. I'm 11 years old, by the way. And wow, this looks really cool. Like, this is, this is Morgan Cry Crow, right? This big cat over here. This book is by is by Jessica Townsend. It's fully famous, I think. I have a good idea about this book. I'm gonna be reading this. Nevermore. It's not actually a word in real life. Normally books make you wonder more because it has a made up name. Nevermore is an imaginative city. Imaginative means it's completely fake and it's from the author's imagination. So, I haven't read this yet, but maybe I'll make a video after I finish it. So, my reaction to this was pretty surprising. This is awesome. And normally I wouldn't rate books so well, because there's always a part that's not up to my, not cup of my tea, not my cup of tea. And, you know, hashtag nevermore, you know. I'm definitely looking forward to reading this.